All right, peace and blessings to everybody. This is Brother Yusuf back with another video here. Um, today we're going to talk about true technology. Uh, what is true technology? Um, we live in a world today where people think that we're technologically advancing, but we're technologically advancing based on what? What type of technology are we using? So we're going to talk about technology and what is true technology. All right, I'm going to help you guys understand that so that you guys can be true scientists, right? true scientist. Um, and if you practice magic, then that's what a true scientist is. Okay. The highest form of science is magic. All right. Um, so, you know, to start this video out, let's talk about physical technology and technology based on what we think technology is today. So today, pretty much, uh, if you look at one of my old videos, well, the last video I did, I talked about the antichrist and I talked about how an the antichrist is actually artificial intelligence. And one day the artificial intelligence will evolve itself into an artificial man. Okay. And I talked about that in my, what is, what really is the Antichrist video. So we live in a world today that's pretty much ran by, uh, computers. Um, and as we go forward in the future, um, in this third dimension, the world will continue to be ran by computers on this third density in this third dimension. Um, for the ones who evolve in different ways, they will they will evolve into a different type of world for, for the others that evolved in a technological, physical way. They will go into a different type of world. So we need to understand what is physical technology? Well, physical technology is it is technology, right? But at the same time, um, it's technology based on man. It's man made technology. So let's give an example. We just talked about a computer, right? And if you look at a computer, the the, the uh, circuit board of a computer um the uh and everything like that about a computer it kind of looks like a human brain right um there are different aspects of the computer that relates to the human brain and they are copying what nature made or what the creator made or the gods made and they're trying to do their own version of it right and we also talked about how physical when you take technology and you base it on the physical it's Satan. It's, Sat it's Satanism, but at the same time, you're 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 trying to you're you're being a rebel to a degree because you're trying to get away from what God created and what God made, and you're trying to do your own thing, which is fine. You have free will, but you're only going to go so far in that aspect. So, physical technology um, uses Mother Nature, right? It uses Mother Nature. It uses the five elements, but it it synthesizes the five elements. Because when you take the five elements and you synthesize it, they become more controllable and you don't have to be so, uh, you don't have to do a lot of practice and study on it. You could pretty much just synthesize it and use it for your own benefit, right? So even though they use artificial intelligence and artificial things as technology, they, the basis of that is still nature. This is why they can only go so far if they don't come back home. You know what I'm saying? If they don't come back home, they can only go so far. So let's, let's give an example of, uh, what do I mean by by the physical technology and what they use with the five elements, right? So let's look at the earth element, right? So the earth element has to do with nature, right? And what they do is let's take, there's so many different aspects of the earth element, right? But let's take a very important earth element. Let's take health, okay? Um, in health, um, you can use the earth element to heal yourself, right? So what do I mean by that? Well, you can take herbs, right? Let's talk, let's say herbs, right? So back in the days, hundreds of years ago, when the slaves or different people didn't have a pharmaceutical company, what they did was they went to go see the medicine man in the, you know, in the woods or in the backwoods or whatever they would go see. And my grandmother could tell me stories about this stuff. So they would go see the man who lived in the woods or the woman who lived in the woods, which was like a medicine man. You can call them whatever you want, witch doctor, medicine man, whatever, medicine woman. And what they would do is they would actually um, use herbs and different forms of nature from the earth. And they would actually heal a person by mixing certain earth elements together and giving it to that person. Right. So how does the physical technology take that away from us? Well, what they do is they take the earth element and they synthesize it once again and they give you pharmaceuticals. Now, why would they want to give you pharmaceuticals? They want to give you pharmaceuticals they, so they can have more control over you, right? And they can control whether or not they want you to be healthy. 
But when you give someone something that came directly from nature, if they take those things, the right things, they're going to get healthy. They're going to get better. But we synthesize it, right? That's how they think. If we can synthesize the earth element, then we can choose whether or not someone can be healed. We can treat them, right? We can treat them. And that way we can prolong their sickness. This is all satanic, crazy stuff, man. But we can prolong their sickness and we can make them think, give them the illusion that we're actually helping them. And I told people before in other videos that the word pharmaceutical comes from the root word pharmakia, which means potions, witchcraft, and magic. So whether we call that person in the woods uh, uh, or that nature person in the woods who was helping people back in the day using real nature, whether we call them a witch or something or whatever, uh, a, a witch doctor, well, people who take pharmaceuticals, which we all have taken pharmaceuticals to a degree, people who, have, who take pharmaceuticals have to understand that, especially Christian people who call that stuff voodoo hoodoo, that the pharmaceuticals you take is actually based in witchcraft, sorcery, and magic. All right. That's what pharmaceutical means on, on a deeper level. So, so another element they use, they take away from us. So, so basically you don't have to learn. Well, let me go back to the earth element. So basically you don't have to learn how to use herbs because, hey, we have a pharmaceutical company and we'll give you what you need. We'll treat you. We don't want to heal you, but we'll treat you. Right. That's what they use the earth element from. So that way you don't have to study and learn herbs. Right. So another element they take away from you physically is the air element. Right. So the air element um, um, deals with uh, communication. Right. So they take the communication aspect from you and they give you cell phones so you don't have to learn how to be telepathic. Right. If you really learn the air element um, dealing with communication, you can be telepathic. Right. Which is something they used to do in the ancient days. They don't want you to be telepathic. You don't need to be telepathic. How about we make a cell phone for you? And this is how they take the air element and make it physical. And we let you communicate through a device we create because we can control that. We can control a cell phone. Right. So we'll take the air element and we'll give you a cell phone so you can communicate that way. That way you don't have to learn how to be telepathic. You don't have to learn how to use the element, the, the uh, air element to suit you or to evolve you. Right. You just use our technology and we'll make you think that your technology is advancing. No, the technology is advancing, not you. So but we, so once again, we think we're advancing, but we're not advancing the technology that man-made is advancing. The man-made technology, the artificial intelligence is advancing, but you're not advancing because you're not tapping into true technology, which is nature. And we're going to get into that. So that's how they block you with the air element. They give you a cell phone, uh, internet, right? Wi-Fi, right? They give you all these things that travel through the air current to help you communicate with people all over the world instead of teaching you how to be telepathic, which is a real thing, right? So that's how they block you on the air element. Um, the fire element deals with passion and creativity, right? Taking your own skill, taking something from yourself, bringing it out of yourself and using it for your own good. That's what the fire element deals with. Passion, creativity. Um, so instead of you um, learning how to use your own passions and creating your own magic, right? What they'll do is they'll take the, the fire element and they took it, right? They took the fire element and they gave you jobs so you can be passionate about your job. And passionate about your education so they can control that. They can control what type of job you have because they're the ones that create the jobs. They can control what type of education you have because they're the ones that create the educational system, right? And the true word for education, it comes from the root word educate, which means to draw out of or take out of. So when you go to school or you become educated, which in this society you need it, right? You need to be educated in this society, a society they created. But it's not true education. Um, I tell people all the time, read the... Uh, the book called the uh, Trivium and in the um in the Quatrivium, which deals with the original several liberal arts, right? This is something I teach my daughter. You know, at three years old, I'm starting to teach her Trivium already. And if you can use logic, grammar, and rhetoric, if you can teach that to a child, uh, how to think for themselves, how to speak their own truth, and how to speak their own truth, they can pretty much learn anything from that pyramid up, from that sign up. They can learn anything. So they don't give you true education. They give you training. They train you, which they call education. They put things into you and they train you only for society. Your education only benefits society, right? And then they don't even give you everything you need to live in society. Let me give you a prime example. They'll tell you to go to school, work hard and get a job. And then they'll tell you you need to buy a house to live the American dream, right? But they don't teach you in school how to buy a house. They don't teach you about credit. And they, I, heard from, I started to hear now that they're starting to teach things like that but really not the way it should be taught. 
So they don't really teach you in the school or give you the education on how, buy, how to buy a house the right way. They don't teach you about credit, right? You get into college, you start getting credit cards, which is all part of the system to set you up, and you get into more debt. So as you become more educated, they want to put you in debt so they can control you. Now you're in debt to society. Now you're controlled by society, right? The money that you earn goes right back into the system because they control you. So they take the fire element from you, that passion that you can create your own your own job. You can create your own business. You can create artwork and, and, and beautiful things that can benefit you and help you grow, help you and your family grow. Maybe you want to be a farmer. You want to cultivate the land and you want to use your energy, your passion, your fire to cultivate the land and be a farmer. And they put that stuff down and say, no, you need to be a doctor or a lawyer. Uh, don't be an artist and all. Now, there are artists and stuff out here, but they're not the, the height of society. Doctors and lawyers and different things like that are. Right. And they don't even treat, teach you true medicine. So they're blocking you from every way. They're controlling every aspect of your life. Because when you go to school to be a doctor, you're learning about pharmaceuticals once again, which takes you back into treating people. You're not really learning how to heal people. You're learning how to treat people. So they take the fire element from you. Your, 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 your imagination, they snatch it from you in kindergarten. Right. Which goes also into your uh, your your fire energy. They take your your creativity and your passion and they tell you to take your creativity and your passion and put it into education, put it into your job. And, and, and we can control those things so we can control you in return. So that's how they take the fire element and control you. I hope this is helping somebody. Um, So <clears throat> the water element, right? Water deals with spirituality. OK, water deals with spirituality. So they take the the water element from you by giving you religion. They don't teach you to true spirituality. They teach you that it's evil. They give you religion because they can control religion. You see what I'm saying? So they do all these things on a lower um, synthetic level so they can control it. It's all satanic, right? It's all satanic. So they do this to control you. So they don't want you to be spiritual. Spiritual people are crazy. Metaphysicians are crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about this and that, and none of that stuff is true. You can't prove it. Blah, 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 blah. All egotistical stuff. They don't want you to be spiritual. They don't want you to believe that you're a god of your own reality. They don't want you to believe that. So they take the water element from you, and which is spirituality, and they synthesize it into religion. And they tell you to believe in Jesus and believe in Muhammad and believe in the Virgin Mary, which are all just symbols of you, right? And they tell you to believe in these things. And they can control you with religion. Uh, once again, the famous book I always talk about, Behold the Pale Horse, go read it. You know, he talks about how religion is created by extraterrestrials and blah, blah, blah. So this is how they use the uh, the elements to control you. OK, this is how they use the elements to control you. So uh, let's talk about the fifth element, right, which is uh, uh, you can call it love. You can call the fifth element also uh uh, spirit, right? But at the same time, it's, it's deeper because it's the fabric of the universe. The fifth element is the energy that allows you to, to use the other four elements and create something. So, which will be the creator of, the, of all, right? So the fifth element would be the, 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 the supreme source of everything, the, the root of all energy. In Egypt, they called it Nu, right? The primordial waters, the original energy. Um, they, they, they don't want you to, 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 to take that. So, They'll teach you that, you know, there's nothing really in space and, you know, you don't need to tap into this energy. And then they'll start talking about the God particle and they'll start talking about uh, there's a documentary called the God particle. You guys need to go watch that. And they'll build machines like the hydrogen collider to absorb and attract this dark energy, which is, means unknown energy. That's why they call it dark energy because they can't understand it. But they know that it's the fabric of the universe and they want to take it and they don't want you to know anything about it. But in magic. If you know how to use magic, you can tap into that element and use it to create what you want. So they'll take the fabric of the universe and they try to absorb it and make weapons and different things like that and try to tap into it. So this is how they use the five elements on a synthesized level to control you. So if you take those elements in reverse, um, you're tapping to the original source. So what is true technology? True technology is tapping into nature. It is using nature for what it's meant to be, right? So if you're tapping into herbs, you're tapping into intuition and 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 you're learning how to be telepathic, which is the air element. And there's so many other aspects to these elements, right? But I'm just giving you guys a short synopsis of it. Um, if you take your passions and you can use it to work your magic on a deeper level, you could take your spirituality and, and, and evolve and, and, and grow. 
right? We're in the age of Aquarius, pouring out a pitcher of water, which deals with spirituality. So we're in a spiritual age. Um, if you can learn how to tap directly into the force of the creator, which is love, right? Alchemists know about that, using love as a as an element to uh, to uh, transmute energy, uh, uh, turn anything. You know, there's things out there that can teach you how to turn things into love, right? You can transmute energy. You can take pain and suffering and and depression and sickness. You can transmute that into love, or you can take the love energy if you know how to tap into it, and you can push it through your body, push it, and you can. Put the energy of love inside of things. I ain't gonna go too deep into that because that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of uh, uh, what can I say? Um, initiated knowledge, right? And but you don't have to be initiated to really understand it. You just gotta do some deep research. I'm a deep researcher, so that's how I kind of find out all this information. I'm a deep researcher on the physical and the spiritual. So you know what is true technology? Once again, it is tapping into the five elements and using them for what you're supposed to use them for. So the Egyptians and the Atlanteans and different people like that and other societies people don't know about, other cultures, use technology, right? Like, let's say let's say, let's say, say for prime example, uh, the Egyptians, right? The Egyptians took, they took uh, nature and they merged it with sacred geometry, right? Which is one way they used their technology. They took sacred geometry and merged it with nature and they became a great civilization from doing that, right? Also, you can look at uh, um, how they uh, use the gods, right? The, the god forms, which would be, you know, Horus, Offset, and different things like that. Heru, um, Osar. They took the the nature element and they merged it with uh, on different levels of the nature element, and they merged it with the energy of the god force, and they created their own gods. And they were also a, a, a subconscious community or a subconscious um, um, culture because they dealt with pictures, right? And the pictures deal with the subconscious mind. They wrote in pictures. So they were a very, very powerful advanced civilization based on them using true technology, which is nature, right? Learning how to tap into the five elements. And this is what magic is all about. And this is why magic is so important because you can take the elements and you're using the astral energy to pull down you know, from the astral plane, all magicians should know this. When you do magic, you're pulling something from the astral plane and you're, and you're connecting it with a physical element and you're pulling it down. That's how you get your magic to work guaranteed. If you can take your, any astral element connected with the earth element, you can pull that energy down, right? You can pull that energy down to, based on what you want. So with that being said, um, that's what I want to go in here and talk to you guys about. What is true technology? True technology is simply using earth air fire water spirit or you know and uh using that um or earth air fire water love whatever you want to call it using that force to um evolve yourself and your environment the egyptians didn't only involve themselves they evolved their environment built pyramids and different things like that they they, they called um uh, tamare or egypt or uh Kemet, they called this place heaven on earth because they were that advanced. They literally took the uh, nature element, merged it with sacred geometry, and evolved themselves and the area in which they lived. That's what true technology is, taking nature and evolving yourself. I'm going to give you guys a secret. The first aspect to knowing self is simply loving self. Learn how to love self and appreciate yourself for who you are. Then you can start to know self. If you don't love yourself, you can't start going a journey of, of, of uh, knowing the self. So the Egyptians knew that. And they knew that this was an illusion down here. Right? This is why the satanic force want to keep you focused on this. Keep you focused on your phone. If you're going to use your phone, which we all do, use it to evolve yourself. Don't use it for what the Satanists want you to use it for, which is to dumb you down and have you looking at world star hip hop and you know, you're looking at dumb shit on the internet. You know, that's not doing nothing but entertaining you. It's okay to be entertained sometimes, but not all day, every day. You must evolve yourself. Stay getting knowledge. You have to do that, right? So I hope this video helps you guys. This is kind of an, a continuation of the last video I did based on what is the Antichrist. Is the Antichrist the real thing? I started talking about technology, and I wanted to push this forward. And help you guys really understand on a deeper level what is true technology. So now you guys know you're not really advancing 
uh, spirit, you're not really advancing unless you tap into nature. If you don't tap into nature, you're not really evolving yourself. So we have all these computers and things today, and they're making us think that we're evolving ourselves, and we're not. We're not. We're not evolving ourselves. We're evolving. The technology is evolving, and we think that we're evolving. You know, but they're taking everything away from you so you can evolve, right? They're even taking uh, nanonites and stuff and putting it in the food, the water. So they're taking the elements and they're putting the nanonites, which is microscopic computers, in all of the five elements. So that now the five elements can become totally synthetic. And now this artificial intelligence becomes your God based on the five elements. I'm telling y'all, this stuff goes deep. They're taking everything away from you. You must do magic. You must learn about magic. You must be spiritual and evolve yourself spiritually. You have to feed the soul, okay? And for all you who don't really understand what I'm saying is go back and watch my video, How to Grow Spiritually, okay? You must feed the soul. So, and I also want to say I do have a video on Lucifer coming up. I know I've been getting a lot of emails and people asking you to do a video on Lucifer. And I've been kind of avoiding it for a reason because I don't think people are really ready for the information, but we'll see. So hopefully my next video might be about Lucifer. If not, expect that to come down the pipeline. All right. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope I was able to bring some clarity to the world you live in. And until next time, peace.